Nutkas, donuts, lighting the Hanukkah. Everybody loves Hanukkah. I love Hanukkah. But you know what? Before we talk about Hanukkah, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about tunnels. Now, what do you know about tunnels? Well, did you know that the world's longest and deepest rail tunnel is in Switzerland? And it took almost 20 years to build. And it's 57 kilometres, which is 35 miles long. And it cost more than eight billion pounds to build. Now, I don't know if you've ever been in that tunnel. I haven't. But there's another tunnel. And this tunnel is a bit closer to home. It's in London and it's called the Blackwall Tunnel. And although it's nowhere near as long as that tunnel in Switzerland, the Blackwall Tunnel goes underneath the River Thames. Now, I've been in that tunnel a few times, and it's dark and dingy. And I used to think it was called the Blackwall Tunnel because its walls are black, but actually it's because of the name of the area in London. But I tell you, once I even got stuck in the tunnel. You see, it's always very busy. But that day, there was lots and lots of traffic, and none of us were moving. And it felt like ages in this black hole. I couldn't see anything else in front of me except for cars and tunnel and more tunnel. The traffic would stop, start, stop, start. And very slowly, we made our way through the tunnel. It would have been even quicker to walk, but you were not allowed. And as I sat there in my car, I tried not to think about all that water above me in the river. And I just couldn't wait to be out the other side. And eventually, after what felt like hours, I could gradually make out some light up ahead. And I, I inched my car forward. At first, it only looked like a pinprick of light. But then there it was, the end of the tunnel. There was light at the end of the tunnel. And as I emerged from the dark, black confines of the tunnel, I had to blink at the dazzling light of sunshine and blue sky outside. And it felt great to finally be free. You know, there's something magical about Hanukkah. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. And like emerging from a tunnel during the darkest and coldest nights of winter, we light candles, one more each night, and we bask in their simplistic glow and light. And every night, after lighting the candles, we say, Hanerot Halalu, these lights which we kindle on account of the miracles, these lights are holy, and we're not permitted to make ordinary use of them, but only to look at them. Now, although we can't make use of the light, we are expected to look at them because they remind us that a little light illuminates a lot of darkness. As Rabbeinu Bachir teaches, a small amount of truth defeats a large extent of falsehood, just as a tiny drop of light banishes an expanse of darkness. So this Hanukkah, just look at those candles and the light and remember that a smile, a kind word, a hand of friendship might be an insignificant thing for us, but it might mean the world to someone else. And if we share light, it's never diminished. And the same is true of knowledge, friendship and love. The more people we share them with, the greater we both grow. I wish you all a very happy Hanukkah. A Hanukkah that is full of light. Hanukkah Sameach.